let's now consider some um, some definitions which is a little bit difficult uh, for most of you or some of you um, we are going to consider regions in the complex plane and here are some notations uh, an epsilon neighborhood of a point set zero is all the point set such that the absolute val value of set minus set zero is less than epsilon. Uh, what does this mean? Set zero is on point here and the epsilon neighborhood is just this, the set of points inside the circle of radius epsilon. And note that none of the boundary points on the circles circle uh, are within this neighborhood, but all points inside this circle. A punctured epsilon um, neighborhood uh, of a point set zero is all the point sets which satisfies this inequality. So this means exactly as above uh, the set of points inside some circle uh, with center at set zero and radius equal to epsilon uh, but in this case we exclude the point set zero from this set so that's the reason why it's called punctured. Um, the third item here is connected to the following. Set zero is an interior point of some uh, set uh, capital S. If there exists a neighborhood of set zero which, is, which only contains points in S. So here I have uh, written this uh, set capital S and here is some interior point. I can find some circle and where the point is a center and this circle contains all points. All points inside this circle is contained in S. An exterior point is the op opposite uh, of an interior point. Exterior point of some set S um, is a point where uh, is uh, is an exterior point if there exists a neighborhood of this point set zero, as in in um, this example here you have this point set zero and I can find some neighborhood where all of the points in, in this neighborhood uh, is um, not intersecting with the, the um, uh, set capital S. Let's turn to the next item. If, if set zero is neither an interior point nor an exterior point it is called a boundary point so that means that this point is lying on the boundary you can see here um, okay so um, what does it mean that a, a set is open it's open if it only contains its boundary points and uh, similarly a set is called closed if it contains all its um, uh, contain contains all its boundary points so open means that it does not contain any boundary points and closed is the opposite the closure of a set uh, capital S is denoted in this way capital S bar is the closed set containing all points on uh, 
capital S this set together with the boundary of S. Uh, S is called connected. Here you see a connected set. If every pair of points in this set can be joined by a polygonal path and this polygonal path should be contained in S. Uh, th the set is called connected if um, it's a, an open set sorry an open set that is connected is called a domain. Um, a domain together with some or none of its boundary points is called a region. So a region is uh, more general than a domain. S, this capital S set, is bounded if each point in S lies within a circle uh, set equal to R. Otherwise, S is unbounded. So that means that, for example, this set is bounded because we can find a circle uh, such that this set is contained in this circle. So, otherwise it's unbounded. The set of all points, for example, is unbounded. Um, the last definition is the following. Set, no, set zero, which is a complex point, uh, is called an accumula accumulation point of a set uh, capital S if every neighborhood of set zero contains at least one point of uh, this set S which is different from the point set zero itself.